Welcome to Power Players. I'm ABC News Senior National Correspondent Jim Avila. And as we commemorate our veterans today, a special guest with us, Dr. Jeff Gusky, who has uh, put together an incredible photographic uh, display uh, from a place we really don't know much about, the underground of France, the battlefields. We all know about the trench warfare that went on in World War I and how terrible it was. I don't think very many of us knew uh, that beneath those trenches were these caverns, were almost cities where the troops lived and then went upstairs to fight. It was completely unknown. Modern underground cities beneath the trenches, loaded with art, loaded with the infrastructure of modern cities. Tens of thousands of men occupying these places at any given time throughout the war. The French army, American French, army? French, American, British, German, Austro-Hungarian, so Chinese, both sides. Canadian. How many Americans may have been in these underground cities? Thousands. And they left their mark. They were the most prolific army of any of the armies for the short time they were there. And they had a real sense of home and place. And they were very proud of being Americans. They loved their country. They knew who they were. They knew what they were fighting for. And you can feel it. All over the walls, there are hundreds of names and addresses. And you, you find notes to loved ones. And you find funny notes, like 1918 was the last time the Red Sox won the championship until modern times. And so in big, bold letters, underground in complete darkness under a farm field right now, Red Sox 7, Yanks 4. Wow. From, uh, from 19... 1918. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about the infrastructure down there, first of all. Originally, these were quarries, I suppose. I they were understand. vast underground quarries from which the stone for castles and cathedrals and fortresses was mined. One of them was over 18 miles in one place. So you can imagine the kind of, they're like underground subway stations, vast. And they're not tunnels, they're large underground spaces. And they have and stairways to go up to the top? Very often you have stairways that went directly to the trenches and then they would descend back down into safety. And, and there was one place where Americans were, where actually it wasn't a stairway, it was a slide. And as you come in, you see, not welcome in, but hell come in. What do we learn about our soldiers during World War I from these intimate photographs uh, that show their artwork on the walls? They give us a feeling um, that is real, that, 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 that humanizes these people, that tells us who they were. They were like us. They drove cars. They lived in high rises. They went to work on subways. They went to the movies and they walked into a situation that no one could have imagined. And what we see underground is how they, when faced with the inhuman scale of modern life, where, where the meaning of life had vanished, they hold on to their humanity. You see their soul in the art and the inscriptions. And, and imagine if we were in a situation where we might die the next day. We would want to leave a message. And so you see notes to loved ones. You see name and rank and, and you see the address. And let me point you to another picture, and that's of the ship going down. Yes. Picture this. It's a small underground space. Uh, you have to cr crawl barely enough uh, of a diameter for your body to go through. And there on the wall is this magnificent carving that I believe is a metaphor for the Titanic, which is about how progress which it just has sunk. a dark side five years before. So it's a premonition of the 20th century. It says underneath, liberty is leaving the world. It says in the upper right hand corner, the disasters of the 20th century, and the upper left-hand corner, the sun of my youth is setting. And it says to me that, that, the, that the human spirit is indomitable, and no matter how difficult things get, there is hope, and we can, we can push through. What do we learn about veterans and about those who serve from, from what you've discovered underneath the, the grounds in France, do you think? You feel, even across 100 years, the love of country, the courage, the selflessness, the patriotism, the clarity about defending freedom. You see it on the walls, and it's very emotional. Wow. Thank you very much, Doctor. We appreciate you. Uh, you joining us and sharing with us uh, your photographs today. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. And thanks for joining us on Power Players, on ABC News and Yahoo News. I'm Jim Avila. Have a good day. Thank you.